Okay guys, this is the third time I've tried to do a video. Um, the previous two, well, I erased one on accident, and this last one, the, the glare was too bad, so it wouldn't work. So I tried turning the light off in um, the dining room here, and it seems to work better. So we're going to go with that. Um, as far as what I found today, um, this is some little piece of metal. It looks like it's this piece. It goes there. It's awful dang close if it's not. It looks like maybe a... I would say, yeah, that goes there. It does look like there too, kind of, but it's not the right shape. So it's not there. Um, we got this piece, which has got a little bump on that side. A little bump on this side. Um, my guess is that that's some sort of bolt that you can use a wrench to twist it off. Um, but it's just strictly a guess. And this is like that metal plate that you guys seen me dig up. And this was about maybe 10 feet away, this one. And uh, this little piece was around that, around there. And then I got this also. And then this rock, as you can tell, it's all shiny. Um, I don't know if that's got a, if that's got iron ore in it or what. Probably because uh, Michigan's an iron-rich state. Um, also copper though too, but I'm, I know that's not copper. Um, at least I don't think so. I'm not a metal metallic expert um, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, this might be some sort of hook or something or maybe it's a bent nail or I don't know because it doesn't have a head. Um, this looks like weather stripping that would go you know where, where your windows for your windows or whatever. Um, this is a penny although I have no idea what year it is yet. But it's modern because it has the Lincoln Memorial on the back. So it's at least 1960, which anything, I believe 1959 is the cutoff date for wheat pennies. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I just don't have a 1989 penny offhand that I look can look at. So for reference, but I believe that's what it is. So we can clean that off later tomorrow or whatever and uh i'll let you guys know what year it was but uh i'm going to show you guys some more coins that's why i needed to uh have the not have glare i do have my light on my phone so um it, it was working pretty good with uh the light and the, um, with the light being off and the light on the phone being on. So we'll, we will see. So, which of course now you can't, now it's not, sh okay, there we go. Only at Alton Bell Casino, wherever that is. I don't even know where that is. Um, oh, just to tell you. Today, get a real couple real quick stories before I get into the coins. I was gonna do a Fairfield challenge today, the starting nine that uh, Carl Topia started. Uh, check out his channel, guys. If you're not subscribed to him already, good guy, great channel, um, or great guy, good channel, or great guy, great channel. Well, I've yet to find out how if he's great or not. But I know his channel's great. So, but he seems like a great guy. Anyways, so I went to six different places to try to find a Fairfield box and or cube. And I was unsuccessful at all six. I went to four Walgreens, one five below, and one Target. None of them had a Fairfield. And so I was shut out. I could not do a Fairfield box. Um... Now I forgot what I was going to say, the other thing I was going to say. 
Um, oh, there we go. Um, the coins that I have, I used to, back in my early, early 20s, I worked at a bank, and I worked in their cash and coin room, and I used to sort through all the coins. And they let me keep any foreign money um, that I found. So anything that wasn't American. So that was kind of neat. So I'm going to show you what I have. Um, this, I'm not sure. Let me see what's on the front. It says uh, CESKA Republica. Now, I don't know if that means Czech Republic or what. It says 19... 96 on it so that is from let me show you the back again it's got that five so i'm guessing that's like five cents or something i don't know and then there's this one it looks kind of old i believe yeah it says uh republic Francaise, which means, which I'm thinking, obviously, that's a French coin. It's 20 francs. It is 1952. Sorry if my focus isn't that great, guys. I'm doing the best I can here. Um, then there's this. That says 2002, which I must have gotten that later because I wasn't working there in 2002. This was around 1997, 98, maybe 99 also. This says uh, 10 euro cent. So, which I don't know who uses a euro cent. Maybe maybe a few countries. Um, this is I cannot see. Hold on, let me get out the the flashlight, guys. I'm kind of hard, still kind of hard to see. Double flashlight. No, I can't see that. Let me see the back. Oh, Caribbean territories. Can't see that other word right there. Oh, Eastern Caribbean territories, Eastern group. And it says 10 on it. I'm assuming that, that, uh, Britain owns that England um, there's another coin that says new penny a D G R E G T D again 1980 Elizabeth the second so I'm assuming that's from England. It looks right period. This, I don't know. It looks like a Band-Aid to me. It's Republica P-O-R-T-V-G-V-E-S-A. I'm guessing Portuguese maybe? 1968. There's the front of it. It's uh, 10 centavos, so 10 cents. Um, the Ro those are Roman numerals. So maybe it's Roman, I mean, not Roman, but I don't know. I don't know a lot about foreign money, guys. I just knew this stuff was cool. Some of it could be val valuable. Um, this is a gaming token from MGM Grand 
from Detroit. Five cents. And no, I did not get any of this metal detecting, guys. These are all money that I've got from, uh, you know, working for that uh, bank or money that I've come across. This is uh, 1992. This is Elizabeth. This is Cayman Islands. So I'm guessing Cayman Islands is under control by Britain. At least the 90, 1992 that they were. This is a Republic de Venezuela. So Venezuelan coin. On it says Bolivar, 1990. Libra, Libra, Liberador, Liberador, Liberator, Bolivar. So that's Venezuelan. This is a little one. This is from Juliana Noddington, der Netherlands. So the Netherlands, I'm guessing. Sorry, guys, if it's not coming in, we're good. That's 1980. This is, I think this is a Czech Republic, CESK Republic. That says KC10. It says B, or does it say E? B R N O. I have no idea. I'm my guess is the Czech Republic, but I have no idea. This is George the Fourth Del Gra. Briton X fitting fitter fitter line fitter I can't tell this is a uh, fart fart well that's what it spells F A R T far thing oh this is from 1913 this is pretty old guys. There's a date down there. I don't know if you guys can see it. Of course, I get closer and it the glare's there. That's cool. That's I think that might be the oldest one I have, if I remember correctly. This is a Fennig again. Another one, another Fennig. A Bun Bund Republic Deutschland. So is Dutch? I don't know. That's what I would guess, but I might be wrong. Probably am wrong. I don't know if that's another Cayman Island or not. Yep, that's another Cayman Island. 1977. Elizabeth II. So that's under British rule. This, I think, is a gaming token. Five cent gaming token at Motor City. Casino here in Detroit. Um, I think that's a peso. Five pesos. If I'm not mistaken. I think these are pesos. That's Spanish. I know that. Yeah, Mexican Mexicanos. So that's Mexico. So those are pesos. Five pesos. There's two pesos. Show you this. I'm trying to be thorough, guys. Make sure you can see everything I can see. It says 1992 on that one. 1996 on that one. Um, I think this is an. Yeah, that's another peso. 
Um, that's 10 pesos from 2002. That's a newer one. So I didn't get that one at the bank. Um, this is a uh, 50. I don't know if this is Egyptian or Greek or Pi Y P Pi Y P Y B R E N Pyren. Uh, what does that say? H E wait I can't tell P Y E A A A E P Y E A E M I have no idea what this is Bach Pochini Pochina I don't know I have no idea if you guys any you guys know you can let me know in the in the comments below because I have no idea. Um, this is uh, another one of those Liberator Bolivar Venezuelan coin. Another I'm surprised Venezuela has coins because they're uh, pretty poor right now. This is a 1964 cent from. The Netherlands. I'm assuming that is. This is uh, Central America. It says Central American colonies. Republic. Oh, well, that's from Costa Rica, 1984. You guys can see. I'm doing my best. Trust me, with the light on, you couldn't see anything. I can see it through the camera if I get it the right angle. When the light, the kitchen light was on, you couldn't see anything. I had to redo it for you guys. Um, this is a, uh, says Wilhelmina Koning, Koningen der Netherlands. So I'm guessing that's another Netherlands. That has got, it says 5P. So that is E-I-R-E. -E. I used to remember what that was, but I can't remember. Is that a Lear? I don't know. If you guys know in the comments below, let me know. That's got to be another peso. That's one peso, I believe. That's another peso. So I got 10 pesos, 5 pesos, 2 pesos, 1 peso. That looks Middle Eastern, right there. It says one, looks like U-L-N or U-I-N. I don't know. I can't read that language up here. Let's see what it says on this side. I don't know. Anybody knows what this is? can let me know. Um, I can't even read what that says. It's not even in a language I understand. I can't tell if that person's uh, of Asian descent or they're like of Middle Eastern descent or what. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure on that one. Um, this looks Asian. Of some sort. I don't know what country. Maybe it'll say on the other side. No, I can't tell. If anybody knows what this is, you can let me know. Because I cannot read any Asian language. You think I would have learned. I had every Asian friend you can imagine. I had a Chinese friend, I had a Japanese friend, I had a South Korean friend, I had a Vietnamese friend, and you think I'd know at least one of those, but no, I didn't, I didn't uh, maintain any of that stuff they showed me. Um, this is another coin, I don't know what this is. It's pretty though, it's got a bunch of uh, 
flowers. And I can't read what's on the outside. It looks like another Asian coin. It says 100 on it. And then it's got all those symbols. looks like some sort of Asian symbol, whether it be Japanese or Chinese. or And then it says 46. So that's a 4 and a 6 right there. And then this is 10 francs from 1952. So this is from, it says Liberty Egality Fratern Fraternite Republic de Francaise. So that's a French coin, I'm pretty sure. This is a uh, Republic can't see. Republica Sesca so Czech Republic maybe? S-C-E-S-K-A Sesca Karuna Sesca? I don't know. That's my guess, but I have no idea. Let's see what the next coin is. I don't know. That, you know, that guy looks maybe like he's Russian. I can't tell what that that writing is, what language it is. Just looks like a bunch of squibbles to me. It says 1987, and then it says 1407 over there. So I'm assuming this coin is from 1987. So I could be wrong. And then it has a one right there. Again, I have no clue. Oh, this is another token. This is, uh, what is this from? Hmm. Doesn't say. It just says no cash value. So I have no idea. Another gaming token of some sort. This is a funning. Bunder, Bunder Republic Deutschland. It's pretty coin. This is a shilling. I've heard of those. So that is a shilling. I thought that was a... Uh, I know it's used in Europe, but I don't know what countries use a shilling. Maybe Ireland. It's another one of those E-I-R-E -E coins. Lear. I don't know. Got a fish on it. it says 10p. This has, this is another Cayman Island coin with a uh, Queen Elizabeth on it from 1972. Kind of neat. Um, I'll show you. There's a 25 cents from Bermuda. Queen Elizabeth's on there too. And then this has got some kind, sort of bird. I don't know what that bird is. I guess I could look it up and see what kind of birds on there. This is a uh, Republic Deutschland again, 1971. One P F E N N I N G Fenning, I'm guessing that the P is silent. At least that's what I was taught in school. Like that, I would think that would be what it is. Oh, cool! This one's from Israel. That's neat. It says Israel on it, so I can't read the rest of it. But it says Israel right there, guys. Let's see if you can see that. I think so. I can see it through the phone, so that's cool. Coin from Israel. Um, one more, and then I'll show you some more tomorrow. Oh, this is just, okay, two more. This is just another peso.
want to get a different one. Oh, this is another one of those flower ones with the hundred cents so that goes there. That is from, see when it's from, that one has a 62. So I'm assuming it's 1962. Got the, see a 62 right there. Now we'll save that one for later. That was a big one. And that is, I have no idea. Now that looks Mongolian. But there is, I don't think there is a, there is no Mongolia, right? I don't know. But it looks something like that. That's actually really neat looking. The lion, the, the crown, and the staff. It reminds me of either Wizard of Oz or the King of Narnia. If you guys haven't seen that, the first one, that's a pretty cool movie. I, it's a kid's movie. But it's kind of neat. So if you guys haven't seen um, the King of Narnia, it's pretty neat. So yeah, I don't know what what where this is from, but it's pretty cool. Anyways, that's all for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I'll make another video on the rest. I have quite a few more, at least that this many. Um, I don't know how many duplicates though. But uh. Yeah, this is a request video, and I kind of wanted to show you guys my coins. I didn't know if you guys, any of you would be interested. But, you know, as long as one of, your, one of you are interested, I'll show it. Turn my flashlight off so I don't lose the battery. Um, yeah. So you guys have a good day tomorrow. Um, be kind to each other. Um, be safe. Enjoy life. Life's too short. Get out and do whatever you like, whether it be collect, metal detect, play video games, shop. As long as it's nothing that's going to hurt you, like don't go gambling your money away to where you're broke. Don't go taking hard drugs or drinking too much. If you want to have a little bit, a couple drinks, whatever. If you're an adult, if you want to you know, do other things, and it's nothing that'll kill you, um, by all means, have fun, just be safe, don't hurt anybody else, and don't hurt yourselves, okay? All right, guys, God bless you guys, see you later.